Hello and welcome back to Boxer Gaming. Um, we are playing some more Factorio. Let's have a quick look where we were. Um, we're getting some iron ore, we're getting lots of coal, coal will be enough. We're getting some copper, uh, getting all that into plates, and that's going. Ah, oh yeah, we're making red signs. That's true. Now the next step, I think, is probably going to get a little bit more iron ore because um, it's definitely not enough. I haven't played in a few days, so I'm going to have to look in my inventory a few times and stuff just to uh, make sure that I'm on the right track. Okay, so I think we can fit two more here. Like that. And... It doesn't have to be, I mean, they can be overlapping, it just means they, they will mine out sooner, but that's that's fine. That does not bother me at all. Oh, I've really missed playing this. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite games. What is that iron ore? <laughs> okay. It's just so, um, I don't even know what the word for it is. It's, it's so mechanical. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at the map, shall we? Because we need to start exploring for more iron ore. And we do have this big patch down there. Uh, up there. Okay, first. Hmm. See, we still don't have green signs. I'm, I'm, I'm probably about to make that right now because we're kind of... We can do walls. That's kind of useful. Okay, so let's start thinking about green signs. It's going to be a bit of a problem with the very little amount of iron ore that we make. It's just not going to be easy. Yeah, uh, I would even say maybe impossible. Wait, did I not? Oops. Sorry, please don't get ang angry with me. Please. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could tap this little... Let's do that, because that's only uh, three mines total. Make two, one more. And it's nice to get these small ones out of the way and focus on the big ones later. Because later down the track, you're probably going to have to defend yourself a lot more. So it's nicer if all your miners are in the same position, if that makes sense. All right, so I'll take you. Thank you. Um, what's the best way to do this? One, two, three. That'll do. That will do. Don't know if I'm... I'm off by a few. Well, that's annoying. And then we'll have eight iron... My hands only free here, so I think we'll have enough if we do this. It seems reasonable, a reasonable amount. Oh god! I need to get the new telephone poles because uh, I'm running out of wood quite badly. I haven't seen a single forest, have I? That would be superbly handy right now. Okay. Okay. I must have run these already. There we go. And I can just uh, split onto this track. It's dark. It's so dark. Yep. Some lights. We need some lights. Oh, that's annoying to walk past. Uh, so this will definitely be enough iron ore for a while. And uh, that will allow us to focus on... 
the green signs. Okay. Now I might want to do a little bit more copper, but we'll see. Green signs does require a lot of copper, so maybe... Yeah, we're definitely going to need that down the track, but... Uh... Eh, we'll see. Okay, so for green signs, we're going to need... Um... Transport belts and inserters. Now, what I usually like to do is set up some assembling machines. I have four, but I need a lot more than that. I need a lot more than that. See, my iron ore is still a bit slow because there's only eight miners going. I might want to upgrade that to... Well, the 16, really. But I'll, I'll let it go for now. Okay. So, generally what I like to do is have one more green science lab than red. And the reason for that is that because they make a little bit slower. So, you know, this, this will do just fine. And we're not going to have a assembling machine here for gears. Okay, so hang on, that's green... There is a way to sort of, I think I told you that before, but I don't know how. <laughs> There's a lot of hidden key bindings here that I can't find on any of the forums or, or anywhere really, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so, I know it looks out of whack, but uh, deal with it. Just deal with it, you'll be fine. Okay, that, that bothers me. <laughs> Okay, um, let's pick up this extra iron ore. And we can set this up already. Okay, so now we need stuff down this belt here. Wow, we are in a serious lack of iron. See, normally I would go for um, this big iron field straight away. But this time, because... Oh no, it just happened to be in this location. Yeah, well, I'm 100% sure that seven iron mines should be way too many. You can see it's piling up. Okay, hang on. This will actually speed us up down the, tra down the track, so let's just do it now, shall we? No real reason not to do it. There's, there's no down... Well, I guess the downside is more pollution, but... Uh... <laughs> That's not going to be our biggest worry soon. You can see the iron ore is actually now filling up. Uh, and that's because we're not doing any science. Okay, so do we have those? No, we don't. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and once again, I know people are commenting on this. Um, yes, I know that this is not the most efficient way of doing it, but um, it's a nice mix, I think, between efficient and nice. <laughs> It just looks nice. And at the same time, it's only a few percent less efficient than the other solutions out there. Which I think is uh, really not enough of a reason to uh, to go for those. Okay. Okay. Just gonna wait till they finish. And uh, we are going to set up automated inserter production and transport belt production now. Uh, the signs will use it, but I'll also make a little buffer so that we can pick them up whatever we need because it's just so annoying not to have that. It's really bugging me that I'm going to have to make these things manually, constantly. Actually, I might just uh, cancel those. We don't really need that many right now. I mean, we do it later on, but uh, for now, I think this will do. Okay. There you go. Set these up. The light up there and there instead. Oh, hang on. The light should be here. And on this side is the lights. Yep, there's lights. Oh. Oh, wow, I'm on other lights as well. This is uh, <laughs> quite something. That's the thing in this game, you're never done building. 
this never ever okay there we go look at the iron now this uh, this is gonna cause a lot of pollution but uh, yeah, you know things happen right so let's make a few more assembling machines we don't need that many really and we're going to make a dedicated inserter production for the green signs because remember we need it inserters and transport belts and I was thinking we'll do this on this side and we're gonna have green signs here and we're gonna have some blue signs right next to that so that all the signs are sort of in one place which uh, I think will be nice okay so for inserters we need plates wheels and circuits and circuits is a pain so I will do circuits first and for that I might as well start building these already <laughs> We're gonna need a lot of stuff. Wow, look at all this iron coming down the line. This is crazy. <laughs> Might have done, overdone it a little bit. Right, so... Actually, we need... Uh, hey, where's my... Did I not have that science? Uh, why can I not... Oh, I can't... Oh, whoops. That was a blunder. Uh, we're actually gonna need the other assembling machines, but I'll just make it with this for now. And the little setup that I like to use, it's it's very basic, very standard, almost everyone uses this. Um, goes a bit like... Yeah, kind of like that. And that is because for the circuits we need iron plates and copper cables, so these ones will be making copper cables. And the circuits need a lot of them. So if I go here, you see it needs. Oops. There we go. It needs autom It needs three copper cables. So for every one iron plate, it needs three copper cables. So that's why we want to do this this way. One, two, three. So three go to that one, and three go to this one. Makes sense. And likewise, it makes. Two copper cable with one copper plate. So I don't want to do three usually here. I usually do two. It's a little bit overkill, but I think it's okay. Now you can see that there's one space here, and I do like to use a splitter here. Uh, reasoning is that if you don't do this, this factory will get all the copper cable and if the uh, all the copper plates and if there's not enough copper plates on this um, on this line this factory and this factory are not going to get anything and we definitely don't want that okay so now i think we cannot do anything else oh we can get steel uh, and that's the reason because this will split 25 percent off to this copper cable uh, etc so we do the same thing here and the same thing there. Don't need that one for now. And uh, let's make some more transport belts. Soon enough we won't have to do any more, thank god. Uh, and that's it. So now we are making, well, are going to make electronic circuits uh, oh, after we do the iron. Um, so let's do some more filters. I split it, sorry. Now I could have maybe um, gave, given myself a little bit more space, but uh, I do always get that little voice in my head saying, yeah, give yourself space, but not too much. <laughs> it's not needed. So, and this, you know, it's enough. It's enough space. All right. So you can see the, uh, the copper is getting in there. Now this looks like a lot of copper, but actually, once these start working, it's just going to absolutely blow up. Well, actually, I can show you that a little bit now. Once they start outputting properly. Um, and this starts outputting as well. It, this copper goes away and two mines is definitely not going to be enough. But we shall deal with that later. Okay. So, I think I will just do it this way. It's a bit of an energy waste, but but it's fine. 
Now these two need iron ore, so I generally do it with an underground belt. I can do it differently as well, but uh, I like this way. Uh, let me see if I remember. Oh, it doesn't go all the way. Do I remember? Yes. Oops. So you only make this really once at maybe twice maximum. I think I did it this way. I'm not 100% convinced. Ah, uh, we'll see. Get all this flowing further. Very nice. With another splitter. This is a bit tight. I wish I had given this a little bit more space. That does work though. It's a little bit awkward here. But it works properly, so. What you gonna do, right? Alright, so now we're making iron circuits and if you have not seen this before, if you click the arrow, don't drag it, just click it. You can actually uh, say how much of this stuff you want to make. So I want to make a buffer of about... Uh, hmm, maybe two stacks? Because they stack in like 200, I think. So that, that, I think that will be plenty. And then we'll see what we do from here on. And then the way it's, that's going to go is that's going to output onto a belt. And uh, off you go, really. Do wherever we need circuits. Nice. Well, I'm gonna need to make some steel. Do some some steel for myself. There we go. Circuits on the on the belt. All right. I'll end the episode there. Uh, next episode, we will actually make the inserters and transport belts. The transport belts is very very easy, and uh, we'll ferry it back all the way to the science center. And we'll make some green signs and then we can get into the, the cool stuff. You know, engines and uh, steel furnaces. It's just such a really, really, really cool stuff. There's oil, there's guns, there's lasers, there's nukes. Oh no, there's no nukes. There's, uh, there's tanks. It's fun. It's going to be fun. Alright, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.